Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you an inexpensive alternative to the Elgato Master Mount. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what the Master Mount is, it is a C-clamp desk bracket that Elgato put out about a year ago uh, that lets you mount either like a light or a camera to your desk or any flat surface with just the use of a C-clamp. Now with something like this, it makes it way easier for anyone to mount your camera or any form of lighting to pretty much anything that you can put this clamp onto without having to worry about making space for a traditional tripod. Now, while the system from Elgato was absolutely great, the price wasn't. From what I've seen online, the prices for this mount run anywhere from about $60 up to $150, depending on where you're looking for it. Uh, most of the places you're gonna find it for sale are from resellers, since the actual mount has been out of stock from Elgato for quite some time. Now, there's a handful of videos of people uh, hand making these mounts themselves using bits and pieces, uh, but that can be frustrating to some folks who just want something that they can clamp on their desk and go. And over the last month or so, I've seen a few of these pop up and decided to purchase one to try out. Now, the mount that I'm showcasing in this video, uh, you can find on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link in the description below, as I always do. Uh, it runs about $33 and does come with a ball head mount. That way you can put a camera on it easily. Now, you're going to find about a dozen other versions of this mount. It seems like they're all pretty much the same thing. They start off at 12 inches in height and go up to 24 inches with the adjustments. So it probably doesn't matter which one you pick up as long as it's relatively uh, like the one that's in this video, it's going to do the same thing. Now I've been using this for a little over a month now and I can honestly say that it's worth every bit of the $33 that I spent on it. Uh, there's multiple uses you can use this thing for uh, just setting up, you know, camera phones, microphones, uh, lighting, pretty much anything that you can put on a standard ball mount or lighting stand will fit on this C-clamp stand. Now with more and more people uh, doing work from home, schooling from home, you're using your camera as your webcam or maybe even your phone or you need to set up a good light, uh, something like this or even maybe multiple of them are going to infinitely come in handy for a lot of this stuff that you've never needed to use before. Now in terms of how much weight you can put on this stand, I was able to comfortably put my Canon R6 on the tripod uh, ball head mount with no issues at all. I didn't feel like it was gonna break or fall over or anything like that. So I can at least verify that you can put a full size DSLR on it. Um, you can put pretty decent sized lights on them as well without the, the worry that it's gonna fall over. The C-clamp is extremely sturdy metal. Uh, it clamps pretty tight. And then once you do the adjustments and tighten up your adjusters, the stand isn't sliding anywhere up or down. Now there's not a whole lot else to say about this clamp. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you clamp it on your desk, you put your item on it, and then you're in business. I highly recommend this for anyone who is looking for a new camera mount for their desk or just a mount for anything in general. And if you were looking into the Elgato Master Mount, absolutely consider this at the better price because for what you would pay for the Elgato mount, you can possibly get two of these and have them set up for multiple devices. All right, if you found the video useful, please hit that like button as it helps the video and the channel greatly. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell notification. That way you get alerts anytime I put out a new video. If you have any thoughts or questions about this clamp, please don't hesitate to post down in the comment section below. I do read them daily. And with that said, until next time.